Hey Cave Dwellers! Who will be the lucky subscriber to take home this amazing signed print by the lovely Leslie Dean? It could be you. Yes, you. The one looking at the screen. Stick around to see who will win. Hello Cave Dwellers, how are you doing today? It's Marty and I have the lovely Laura Park Lincoln with me today. Hello, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. So how's everything been in your world? Well, I would say my world's been really fabulously busy, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, you know, I've been acting 45 years now, so it was exciting this last year to have three films come out in the same year for an actress that's a pretty exciting time that is. in our lives right well, you're not only an actor you're a, a, a producer I'm a career oh, coach yes okay. for, for actors uh -huh. and you're also you have a school right yes I correct? do actors okay. audition studios and, and you're a um, I, I thought I'd seen somewhere where you produced a movie to, or directed a you know, a short I, film? I have done a few shorts, a okay. few shorts, but you know, directors have such a tough job. It it it's not easy, and my love is really working with the actors. I, so I do a lot of um, set coaching for films, and um, you know, I don't work with hobby actors, but I'm working with actors that are already professional and need to be rebranded, sort of, or someone that's going into it as a profession. So that's that's really where my love. So lies. new people, you like new people. No, new, new old. It, it, it new doesn't old. matter as long as they're looking at it as a profession, not a hobby. Gotcha. That would be gotcha. the difference. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so I have no chance, is what you're saying. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't seen you on the screen. <laughs> well, I must have just missed that. <laughs> you're also a, a, an author. I, I am. I'm, yes. So tell us a little bit about that book. Yes, um, my book is "Get Started, Not Scammed," and I'm very passionate about helping people live creative lives you you can make a living and have a career in a creative life if you um if you follow a, a solid plan and a solid path and you get the right people around you and and you can avoid the scams and i just i just go after these scams and there's so many of them that take artists money and dreams and hopes and steal them and i just don't like it so so it's it's about it's actually about the the maybe the life of a an artist uh, mm -hmm. actor things like that that people people scam i guess you well, got, right. you got scam yeah. you do you have like like agents and things like that that are scammers or what you, you know you don't find it as much with the so-called agent although agents aren't licensed in every state and, and okay. that it's not necessarily a bad thing that they aren't uh there's two different kinds of agents there are agents that are SAG franchised, which is our union, SAG, and the agents that are not. And there's good people in both. The, the big scams come from the Disney's coming to town, radio, come join us and we'll see if you fit into it. Those, no, Disney's not coming to your town. They don't need your children. There's plenty of them in LA and Florida and, <laughs> and Atlanta. So those are scams. You get there and you're sold, you know, a weekend of, um, competition type events and it's it's thousands and thousands of dollars which in and of itself is not a scam the, the money is not the scam in general because you do have charges for coaching the scam is taking these fake weekends to nowhere where they take your money and there's no value in anything you're getting there's no real performance for agents no one's really looking for them but that that's where the scams lie you know, there's really scams and everything. I, I, yep. And in my company and what I do, you know, that we see a lot of phone scams and things like that. And it's and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And and well, you know, tell me about that. What do you mean in the company <laughs> that you do? Well, um, I'm, I'm in the insurance industry, mm -hmm. and you see so many people calling today, calling today, calling today. And in the insurance, most people, uh, you know, have to be licensed and things oh, like yeah. that. But what you'll see is you'll see so many 
phone people today, you'll see, get some, how many calls do you get every day Thousands. about your car, extended <laughs> so car insurance and things calls. like that? That's what, when, when I seen your book, I thought, man, that, that's probably going to be a pretty good read. I hope so. I hope I, you enjoy it. I um, am. I am. It, it's kind of a, it, it, I, you know, I go through the, the beginning of my life as an actress and have a lot of photos in there and a lot of bad actor photos and good actor photos to compare because they, the uh, actors spend a lot of money on headshots, but they often don't get a product they can use because you really need to know how to design a headshot session. You need to design it for the character types you play and for the looks that you do, not for what a photographer sees you as. It, you need to really design your shoot. So we do specialize in that at the studio and being sure your demos are correct and that you don't shoot demos too soon. It's an expensive process. And so I won't let a brand new actor who's not ready throw money at a demo that's not going to work yet you know so we, we really prep for that you, you teach all of that during yes, your school yes yes is your school it's it's local here in dallas yes it is uh-huh and i also you know go back and forth to la and whatnot i have an immersion program called the hollywood highway immersion program and that's a four-day trip of really throwing these baby actors in there and teaching them LA and, and at that point we do shoot the demo and um, it's it's fabulous fabulous weekend a week four days and then since COVID has hit we have done um, the demos locally here in Dallas we just bring in the LA team and and it's worked really well you, you seem very passionate about this school absolutely yes Cause yes. You 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 you've acted for what forty years? You said yeah. A I long think it's time. over that now. I mean, yeah. not slanding. I, I, yeah. I remember when I was younger, I used to watch that a lot. And you were Linda, is that right? I was Linda Farragate. Yeah. She was a I mean, bad bad person. Yeah. A I was actually two characters on the show. Most people don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, I was a mystery body for eight episodes that they oh. ended up putting Penny Peisner into, um, which was really fun. So I played the mystery body on the phone, and then the reveal was Penny Peiser. So uh, that was just where they put me that year on a soap. You know, you don't always know where you're going. And then I came back as Linda Fairgate again. <laughs> Did you like that role? Loved it. That was a um, that was a role in a show of a lifetime for me as an actress. I was working with Michelle Lee and. William Devane and Kevin Dobson and wow, right? I, I got to be on a show I had watched and then I got to stay on that show. So, wow, what an exciting thing. So how did you get into acting? Um, I, I knew very young, about eight years old, that I was going to act. Um, I, I didn't know how. I'm an army brat. So I didn't really have acting schools at my disposal and, and the training. So I, I ended up modeling for eight years, even though I'm very tiny, short, um, kind of developed a petite modeling market and worked all over the world that way because there weren't really acting opportunities where my father had a station in different places. So while I did that, I continued to train and um, then eventually I was able to, to move to L.A. at that time, which was necessary, and, and start working. And got in the union. Got in the union. Yeah. Okay. I know we have a lot of people that, that watch the show throughout the, throughout the years. I'm just thinking uh, for somebody that really wants to get in acting because we, we got um, we've had voice actors we've had uh, mm -hmm. and, and we've had voice actors that's been in voice acting for a long time that said you know it's just like acting take acting well classes. it is acting yes it is mm -hmm. that's what they said matter of fact they said you're you're sitting there and it's we have a little we have, harder than anything else we have a friend that's actually a, a voice actor uh, that helped us really do what we do get, now get launching get, get wow launching, that's yeah. awesome and so um i give him credit because that's 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 who we went out and met out in la what's his name his name is zach callison mm -hmm. zach callison steven universe mm -hmm. and he was the one that uh we got invited out to la and and spent uh, uh a week out there and cartoon network and everything gabe was a young guy young boy at the time and but um it's really what he decided that got us into youtube wow. and going to different comic cons and different things like this and it was, it was a lot of fun making it happen making it happen yeah you know it's it's persistence and consistency and um and and putting a plan together it doesn't happen just willy-nilly from the air you know you need a lot of people to help you along the way hopefully you get the right ones and and go after the opportunities and sometimes you just do the paying your dues job where you're you know your background and, and I'm of a different um, thought of background actors a lot of times that role is looked down upon 
but I believe background actors, which we all start as them usually, are the whole heart of the scene because if you don't have background actors, you have two people talking and there's there's nothing that brings it to life. You know, we need background people. So um, I'm proud of background actors. It's a lot of hard work. They work a lot longer than people have any idea. And then they put in the hours for sure. I know I did. So what you, you said at the very first that you had three, you shot three this year. Yes. Well, three came out this three year. Three came out yeah. this year. Yeah. Well, let's talk about them. Which huh? ones are they? Well, um, 13 Fanboy came out, which is not a fan film. It was a full union uh, project um, about a stalker that goes after the actresses. That, that play in horror films and he's obsessed with them as their character and uh, and that was really intense shot that in New Mexico it was really exciting a lot of my fellow castmates in different shows were in that project and just loved it and then um, the next one I did was called Autumn Road and that's on streaming and that is a very cool little indie film shot here in Denton Texas a college town and I got to play a character I'd never played before. She's a very bitter, sad, um, withdrawn mother. Bitter would be her main title because a, a child of hers passed 10 years ago and she never got past that. In fact, the lovely actress that played my daughter, Maddie, is here at this convention. Okay. She's on the other side. Um, so that's fun. And I loved it. I, I My children looked at it and and said, you know, Mama, we've never seen that face on you. And I'm like, yes, yes, that's good, that's good. So that was super fun. And then, of course, Roseblood uh, premiered in November, and you can watch it on YouTube. And I got to play my character from Friday the 13th 30 years later. Wow. That, that, that is amazing. We, yeah. we do have a lot of Friday the 13th and horror fans on our show. Yeah, awesome. Subscribers. So uh, you played the original back in uh, was it uh, Friday 13th? I was in part seven. Part seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was the new blood. I was the character with the, the telekinetic powers that defeated Jason. So he never touched me. doesn't hurt me. I don't die. Right. And uh, when they came to me with the, they come with a lot of different continuation stories. But this one written and directed by Peter Anthony Y'all are gonna like it. I'm I'm really happy with it. Brought Terry Kaiser into it, the mean Dr. Cruz. Brought Kevin Spiritus into it, the love interest. And uh, we all went to the premiere. Uh, when was it? I guess that was the end of November, and it was fantastic. So it just it just released. Yes, you can watch it free. Um, okay. You can watch it free on YouTube. Stream it to your TV or whatnot. And I, you know, I was really impressed with the entire production. I I would work with this group. I would be a fly on the wall if they would let me work on another one of their shows. It was that good. That's 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 amazing. Uh, yeah. It's it's mm -hmm. funny because I, I was a big Jason fan when mm -hmm. I was young, and mm -hmm. and I actually remember that uh, the, show, the show, the first one. Wow. And uh, Gabe, uh, the the host here, he is actually a big Jason fan too. Yay! So, uh, it's we're definitely gonna have to watch it. Well, that's know? that's fun, y'all. Y'all pick a time to watch that together. I have um, a film called Ghost Party that will be out this year. I hope that they hold it for the Halloween season. I don't know if they will, but it's a kind of a Disney-esque family haunt. So it's a very fun little family-friendly haunt. And I'm playing a, a great aunt from the early 1900s. And I have the tall blue hair and just kind of appear and get to make things move with my hands. Very, what was the scene and, um, you know, the the tea scene oh gosh i'm going blank on the film but i had a lot of fun doing it because the effects of course are added later so well that's exciting it sounds like you are a very very busy lady and um i appreciate the time that you've given thank us. thank you thank you so much and and i wish you the best and thank you you too with your wonderful channel and all that y'all are doing it's awesome hopefully i get to meet gabe someday I bet you will. <laughs> that would be will. wonderful. That would be great. Thank you all for, seeing, uh, for being with us today, and uh, we look forward to it next time. Thanks a lot. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Good luck. <laughs>